Hey guys, Formula here, and I have something really cool to show you guys today. So what I have here is I have my Radio Master running the latest version of Edge TX, and then over here I have a racing build running HD0, uh, specifically the HD0 V3 Race VTX. Um, and then I'll also pop up a live feed of what my GoPro is seeing inside of the HD0 goggles. So what I'll be demonstrating now is how simply by hitting the trim buttons, you can change your video transmitter channel, and then you can also have it set up to where a switch can turn video on and off. So without further ado, I'll show you how it's done. So starting off, I'm gonna turn on video and you'll see it'll change with this widget I have here. And then you should be able to see video now uh, through the live GoPro feed. Yep, so it looks like it's working. So now I'm gonna just change to channel five and you'll probably see that it went away right away, but my video is still on, so I'm gonna go into the goggles and change the channel now. And there we go. We're already on channel five and video power stayed on, and now I'm gonna turn it off, and there you have it. Super easy and simple way to change your channel. You can do this at the flight line. There's no need to worry about going into beta flight, OSD, or dealing with ELRS Lewis scripts. You go right in there, Hit the button, works right away, no issues. I ran this all summer long, I ran this at Shams, and it worked perfectly. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you how I get this done. So what I have now is just a blank model loaded up. However, if you have an existing model that you'd like to add these settings to, um, it should integrate pretty nicely without any issues. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Um, our model setup will have no changes. Our heli setup, also no changes, and that's also going to be true for our flight modes and our inputs. But once we get to mixes, we'll need to add two, one for our video channel and another for our video power. So we're going to create a new mix, and I'm going to name this one CHNL, or just short for channel. Um, source can be anything. I'm just going to make it one that I don't use, but most importantly, make sure that you have that set to global variable one. All right. And then I'm gonna create one more mix, and this one's gonna be for our VTX power. And I'm just gonna name this one PWR, or short for power. And then this source will actually be a switch. And this can be whatever switch that you'd like to use to turn your video on and off. So for this, it's gonna be SG, which is just this switch on the top right here. And this is just preference. You can change this to whatever you'd like. All right. And then if it's set up properly, you should be able to see on the top right there that when I flip that switch up and down, it changes from negative 100 to 100. All right, so that's pretty much it for the mixes. Now we're gonna slide on over to our global variables and we're gonna select our global variable one and we're gonna hit edit. Now you can name it, I'm not going to, um, but we're, what we're really looking for is setting our minimums and our maximums. So for our minimum, we're gonna wanna set this to negative 100. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. I'm just gonna go to default and then click this 10 times to get to negative 100. And then for a maximum, we're gonna set this one to 75. So I'll go in the other way, set that one to 75. And you'll see why we're doing this later. So you wanna back out of that once you have that set up and you wanna move on to your logical switches. And we're gonna add two logical switches to this. So first one, L01, we'll create that. The function will be A is greater than X. And then for V1, we'll wanna set that to global variable one. Scroll down and find that. There it is. And that's all. We'll wanna create one more, L02. And this will be A is less than X for its function. And then for V1, same as the first one, it will be global variable one. We're gonna scroll down until we find that. There it is, perfect. All right, that is it for logical switches. All right, so let's move on to our special functions. So we'll start by creating one special function. The trigger will be whichever trim switch you'd like to use. It can be T5 or T6, or you can disable one of the ones that you use for your gimbals and use those as well. But I like to keep it simple, and since the TX16S has these extra two, we're gonna use these. So I'm gonna use T5, and the way you can find that is by going back down and you can scroll until you find 5D and 5U. So these actually represent that T5 switch. So I'm gonna start with 5U or 5 up. So when you bump it up, it'll uh, increase its value. So we'll hit that 
the function will set to adjust and then make sure that this is set to global variable one and then our mode will be set to increment decrement. So we'll hit that, we'll go to our value and we'll set that to plus 25. Hit that and enable it. Next, similar to the first one, we'll create another special function. This time we'll be using five down. Last time we used five up, this time five down. So we'll hit that function, same as last time. We will use our adjust global variable one, mode will be increment decrement. Hit that, but this time it's gonna be minus 25. Select that, make sure you have it enabled. All right, so now we're gonna add two more special functions. Um, first, we're gonna add special function three, and this is where we're gonna go back and find our logical switch. So that's L01 and L02 that we created earlier. So I'm gonna find L01 first, I'm gonna select that, and the function will be instant trim. And we're gonna make sure that that's enabled. And then similarly for special function four, we're gonna find our L02 that we created earlier, scrolling down, select that. Function will also be instant trim, and we're gonna make, that, make sure that that's also enabled. And there you have it, that's pretty much it. So the way to check that this is working is you can go to your channel monitor, and then make sure that your switch is working for your video power. And then when you hit this T5 button, it should increase and decrease by 25 for the channel that you have it set up to. And you can see that it will not go past 75 and it will not go below 100. And that's because we have those limits set in the global variables page. All right, so before we get too far ahead of ourselves, you're gonna wanna make sure you grab your radio and plug it into your computer and then once you're prompted to, uh, make sure you connect via USB for SD card access. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And then once we're plugged in, my radio will pop up in just a second here. Here we are. And then we're gonna to wanna to head over to widgets. And then if you go into the description, you'll be able to find these two widgets, specifically the VTX title and VTX power. You're gonna to wanna to drop those in there and that's pretty much all you need to do. Uh, don't worry about any of the other stuff in there that is just there by default. And then this VTX power two is just uh, something that I'm working on for freestyle VTXs. So more details on that later. Um, but yeah, once you get those dropped in there, uh, you're good to go. Just make sure you eject your radio and we can continue on. All right. So once we have those widgets installed, we're going to go into our menu here. We're going to hit screen settings, enter into there. We're going to go into the top bar interface. We're going to hit set up widgets and we're going to hit one of these boxes and we're going to hit select widget. Then we're going to scroll down until we find VTX channel or VTX power, which will, whichever one you want to do first. So we'll hit VTX channel first. And for VTX channel, you're going to make sure that you have your input as global variable one. So we'll hit that right there and we're good to go. And then our second one for VTX power, we'll find that. There we go. And then this input will just be the switch that you're using to actually control your video. So once we go back, we can actually return back to our home screen and we can see that once we hit our trim button that we set up for our channels, it actually goes up from R1 to R8 and back down and it does not go past either way. And then for our video button, we can see that when it's down, BTX state is off. And when it's up, BTX state is on. All right, so once you have all that configured, now you can get your drone and you can plug it into Betaflight. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do once you're plugged into Betaflight is you're gonna make sure you, you have it powered on, your receiver is connected and bound, and you're gonna to wanna to test these switches out. So you're gonna try by using your trim button and clicking it, and you can see that on Aux3 here, it's actually increasing and decreasing by these little values and Basically, it's got eight different positions. So this would be position one all the way to position eight. And these will actually be the ranges that we use to change our channel. And then as well, we have our video switch. And we can see on aux4, it's either at 1000 for off or 2000 for video on. So once you verify that that's working, we can continue on to the next step. All right, so first and foremost, you're gonna wanna make sure that your HD0 is properly set up. Um, make sure that you have the correct UART selected, that you have your VTX peripheral enabled, 
Um, make sure that you have the HG0 preset properly configured. Um, you will know this if you have your VTX table and transmitter uh, configuration tab properly set up. And also make sure that in your modes, you do not have beta flight pit mode set up. Because for that reason, we'll be using the uh, VTX table zero power mode instead. So that instead of lowering the power of the HG0 VTX, it actually completely turns it off. Uh, therefore, it does not produce heat and does not display any video whatsoever when it's in zero power mode, which is what we want for this uh, specific setup. All right, so once that's all set up, you can actually go to the description and you can copy this VTX command into your CLI. And this basically allows Betaflight to change your uh, video channel and your video power. So I will want to note that you may have noticed that mine is set to work at aux 3 for the video channel and aux 4 for the video power. And Betaflight uses aux channel minus 1 to set up in the VTX table. So you can see that these are all labeled as 2 representing aux 3. And then that for the video power, it's labeled as 3 representing aux 4. So for example, if you're using aux 5 for your video channel, you'd actually want all these 2s to be 4s. And if you're using aux 6 for your video power, you'd actually want all these 3s to to be fives because it's that aux channel minus one that beta flights are using to configure this. All right, and with that, your radio should be all configured, your drone should be ready to go, and you can go ahead and test and make sure that this is working. Uh, I hope I was helpful, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or concerns with this specific setup.